if you want a Windows computer hooked up to your TV, check this out. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I will tell you that I actually want a Windows computer hooked up to my TV, and here's the reason why. There are times when I want to just have a full browser that I can access. Now, I actually have an Android TV box, and I've connected that to my TV before, and it gives me the Android Chrome browser, but it's not like the full bore browser, and I've noticed that when I'm trying to stream videos or go to some websites, it gives me the mobile version sometimes. It doesn't play the video sometimes. It doesn't lay things out quite the same way and so I tried actually just plugging my laptop into the TV and that works fine I can do everything that I want and I thought well why have this like stripped down Android thing instead of just a full-on Windows computer and while having that laptop connected to my HDMI port was okay I thought do they make something that would give me a Windows computer in a small, tiny little box like all these other streaming devices? And the answer is they do. There are a bunch of them out there, but they are all pretty expensive. So I found this one and it was one of the cheapest ones I could find, just over a hundred bucks. And I thought that's a fair price for a computer that actually runs on 86 processor architecture, I think. So get a little instruction book here. I'm assuming this will look just like Windows when we get it connected. I think it has Windows 10 Pro on here even. And here is the box itself. You can see we have some holes drilled on the top for venting air. It's obviously going to use kind of a full on computer processor. And it's not that thick. It's probably only about an inch thick, but it looks like a small media device that is meant for TV. You can see Intel inside right there. And then we also have venting on the sides. You can see we have a VGA port right there. Um, the front is just blank, I guess if that's the front. Then we have some more venting right there, an SD card slot, looks like two USB 3.0 ports, then the power button is right there. And so actually I might want this front kind of facing me so that I can have easy access to the micro USB ports as well as the power button. And then on the side adjacent to it, we have for the power port, another USB port right here, HDMI, which is how I'm going to use it. Then we have an ethernet port as well as a headphone jack. And then it looks like a reset button right there. On the bottom, we have a slight taper around the edge, but then we have little silicone feet so that it should be insulated and lifted off of the shelf just a smidge and it shouldn't move around. It does come with a very short HDMI cable, which is actually nice. Looks like we also get this bracket and these screws. So I would say that it looks like that would go into the little holes right here. So if you were mounting this to the back of a monitor, you just imagine you buy a hundred dollar monitor, you could mount this directly to the back of it. So you've basically made yourself kind of like an iMac, a full desktop computer with just this in a monitor. It's actually kind of brilliant. Hundred dollar monitor, hundred dollar computer box like this. And for 200 bucks, you have a complete standalone desktop computer. That's pretty clever. Now, again, I want to use this as a media device on my TV. We also get two-prong outlet and the power cable here it looks just very much like a laptop power cable and the other thing I want to mention here is that if you're going to use this with like a TV or just as any computer you are going to have to add your own peripherals to it so obviously you're going to need to be able to see what it is displaying and you're going to need to input stuff with it so in my case what I actually bought here is this little tiny wireless keyboard and trackpad so that I can control it because it's going to go to my tv but if you were going to use it as a regular computer yes you've got plenty of usb ports here to plug in a wireless receiver and a wireless keyboard and mouse or a wired keyboard and mouse so you can do all of that now let me get this thing set up to the tv and see if it works so i've got this little windows box plugged into hdmi i've actually got my internet plugged in directly through that ethernet port i've got the trackpad and keyboard combo connected via this usb wireless receiver right there and now i'm just going to plug it in because i'm kind of assuming maybe it will power on as soon as it gets power but if it doesn't i will just hit this little power button right there and power it on. Now I do see a little blue light glowing in there and oh looky there Minis Forum it's coming up on my TV so that is very very promising and that looks like the Windows status icon right there and now it is booting up and that totally looks like standard windows 10 so that is pretty awesome saying just a moment i am assuming that i might have to go through the standard windows setup first but then i should have a full on windows computer with a little tiny box right there and i'm gonna try this first looky there 
I'm using this to control it, which is awesome. Okay. And I am setting this up. That this device is not super powerful. It's just the basics. And I think it's all I really need. I think this is 64 gig storage and maybe only two or four gigs of RAM. I'll put the specs in the description below, but it's kind of just what I need for a media player. And for someone who doesn't need a ton of computing power, it could be just fine. All right, so I've been using this thing a little while here and it rocks. It is just a Windows computer, albeit a stripped down one. It's pretty simple. But you know, for most of us that are just doing web surfing, or using tools on the web, video conferencing, watching videos, writing documents, maybe doing something to Google Docs. A watered down basic PC is just something that gets the job done. And as a media player, now with this, I can go and go to any website with a full on browser. This little keyboard is pretty sweet. So if I just go ahead here like W, J R. You know, one of the things that I can't do sometimes is actually get the full browser experience, you know, on a mobile browser. So like WJR AM plays Lions games and I can listen to the radio broadcast from a real web browser, but it doesn't let you do it from a mobile web browser. So maybe you are looking for something like this or you're streaming sports. A lot of schools, churches, organizations will stream their events directly to their web page, And maybe you can't see that without having access to a full browser going to their web page. Maybe it's your football games or baseball games or something like that. So, hey, if you wanna pick this little bad boy up, I really dig it and it's really inexpensive. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.